you look into the eyes of God, you do not forget. It's not a religion, it's a cult. Ruby is special. He's gotta have a motive. It's more powerful if you experience it yourself. Did you come here to test my faith? Imagine how many recruits he'd get with a bomb. Get out of there right now! We are all going to die! Supergirl, all new episode Monday at 8, 7 central on The CW. Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 3, and today we're going to be going over the trailer for Episode 4, and this is entitled The Faithful. So we're going to be going over it, the episode has been directed by Kevin Smith, as you all know, he's an amazing director, so I'm sorry if my voice is a bit gone, so I'll do my best to speak as normal as possible. But yeah, let's go through the trailer, so in this episode we're going to be getting a guest star appearance from Chad Lowe, and he's going to play the main protagonist within the episode, and his name is Thomas Covert and he has a mysterious connection to Supergirl within the TV show. So basically, the way that they're trying to do this, as you will see later in the episode, basically there's going to be a secret group, which is actually a cult, as they say in the trailer, and he's the leader of the cult, and basically they all have a connection to Supergirl, so it's practically like a Supergirl cult, because they all worship her as a god. So this has been explored in Man of Steel, the film before, and many times in the comics, that these beings with superpowers can be worshipped as a god, but it's not always a good thing. So that's going to be explored in this episode. So let's go through the trailer shot by shot. So within the first shot, we get to see a man falling through a floor because you can see rubble all around him and there's fire engulfing him. So we actually do get the same shot of him, but we get to see him on the ground kneeling towards Supergirl. So this backs up the fact that we're going to be getting a cult, as they say later in the trailer within the episode, because this person obviously worships Supergirl for saving him. So that's going to be their main connection, all the people in the cult, that they all worship Supergirl for saving them. So that's going to be really exciting to see what they get up to and within the episode Kara as you can see goes to actually investigate this cult because obviously it's secretive and they do have plans and within the trailer we get to explore some of those plans so we'll get to that in a minute so we get to see the leader Thomas Coville within the trailer and he walks into the room and looks at what looks like some sort of power device and later on in the trailer they actually say they plan to set off a bomb so I'm guessing this power source this blue glowing light is something to do with that and it's probably the bomb and moving on to the next shot, we can see a person handing out a leaflet for the cult and it says join us and obviously you can see the actual crest for Supergirl but they have their own logo within the middle of her actual crest but it's the same design and basically they're all inspired by that. And I think Odette Annabelle's character Samantha who is going to be Rain is going to get mixed up in their storyline within this episode as we see the person that is actually handing it out actually hands it to Samantha and we can see she's at a football game watching her daughter play football at school. So I'm really interested to see how Samantha gets tied up in this and see if there's any tension between her and Kara because Kara knows that she is in charge of El Corp and if she's getting mixed up with these people obviously it's bad news. So Samantha feels like she's letting Ruby down within the episode so maybe this is the main reason why she would actually go to the cult and I doubt she's going to be with the cult for most of the episode but I think she might have a moment where she might want to go there. So so in the trailer we get to see a man or a woman, a shadow, a silhouette approaching Samantha and she's actually cuddled up in the corner in her pajamas. So I have a feeling that this is Thomas Coville, the leader of the cult, just due to the fact that he's the main protagonist in this episode, and we know Samantha's going to be getting tied up in that storyline, so I've got a feeling it's him there. And we can see, again, Kara investigating, going to these sessions, and probably pretending for most of it, and then she gets actually found out by the leader, and he's asking her why she messing with his beliefs. So in one of the final shots, we get to see that they are actually planning to cause an explosion within a ice hockey arena. It's a bit weird choosing ice hockey, that's like one of the least popular sports in the world, but maybe it's popular in America, I have no idea. We can see Alex Danvers obviously at work and she's not there for luxury. She's there investigating and most likely because in the next shot we get to see the cult and the leader Thomas Coville on the ground, so maybe it's underneath the ice hockey arena. I think that would be a good guess to guess. And you can see the device behind them and that's probably where they're going to 
explode, they might try and commit suicide because of their beliefs. I'm not 100% sure on that. It does seem like this episode is going to be very good, obviously. Kevin Smith has done excellent episodes on Supergirl and also on The Flash, so I'm very excited. Every Kevin Smith episode has been so good so far. So with Kevin Smith being the one to actually release that they're doing Legion of Superheroes, maybe we can expect to get a little tease for the Legion of Superheroes within this episode as well. That's just a guess, but hopefully we do get to see that. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I will have a Flash video out later today and also my Flash review at about 3 a.m. UK time. So anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.